we've had a good good chat about music mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's, there's one question I want to ask about music yeah, yeah, before, yeah. before we transition out yeah get in <laughs> I'm not even going to... Uh, anyway. <laughs> answer the question. Oh, answer the question. You got <laughs> All right. Say right. no more. Mm. Big man. You. Gloucester full of artists. Uh-huh. Um, artists now, artists prior, artists to this day, going forward, going forward, going forward. Mm. Where do you sit in regards to music-wise and artistry? Mm. Are you top three? I don't... Are you, are you top 10? Are you... In a category of your own. So we said if I'm okay. number one, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, Talk for, the for, I want to hear some boastful, honest reaction, bro. Don't be humble. I'm tired of this humble. No, no, no. Just, I, just no, be real. Right. Last humility. time I did this, the whole end is twitched on me. Listen, listen. I need to know. Right. Yeah, cool. I've got two questions. Like, sorry, I'm not doing it. We can't go out of music just okay. yet. Okay. I, I could only be honest. Like, to be honest, yeah. I only compete with myself. You know what okay. I mean? Sorry. I'm always trying to outdo myself. So yeah. every song I made, I'm trying to better that one before previously. So and that's always been the that's always been me. So I, I'm I'm in my own lane. I'm in my own lane. Man. Like, right. but in terms of consistency, I feel I'm one of the most consistent. Yeah, you know, okay. You know, especially what in terms of releasing, in terms of yeah, keep, keep work on rate, music, work rate. I'm always working, always mm, working, man. Second question, final question on music. Mm. Have you ever recorded a diss track mm-hmm. to anybody, directly or indirectly, mm. from the city of Gloucester in the UK, England, yeah. my brother? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I have. Yes, you have. Okay, awesome. <laughs> yeah. If you wanted to, yeah. No John Musto. Which man would spin? <laughs> Which man could you spin on a track? Which right? Well, I have every artist. Could yeah. you spin every single this artist? This guy, this guy is really a- again. every single artist in the city, brother. Again, on a track. Talk the thing. Again, like I don't, I don't put my attention on the next man. I, I focus on what I could do. So I'm yeah. always trying to outdo myself. So if anything, I'm trying to outspin myself. Outspin myself. I hear it. Yeah. All right, respectable. That's that's fact. Media trains. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's just me. It's just how I. It's how I work. You know what I mean? Because like every man's got his own style in it. Facts. Unless he, he's sounding like you know, yeah, yeah. sound like someone else. But other than that, he's got his own. You know the way he works. You know what kind of beat style he chooses. That's his flavor. It might not suit mine. So if I was on that same beat, that's his flavor. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna outdo me because that's not. I'm not comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. You know. So I stick to my own lane. You know. What I mean, I always focus on myself. Respectable. Yeah. I yeah. like it. Mm. Good answers, good answers, good answers. You tried it, innit? You tried, <laughs> tried it, man. I'm always in the You tried it. Always. You coming back, are you? <laughs> what? Man can buy from man is the bar. We said, we said, we're gonna set, we're gonna set up a track, are we? <laughs> I'm saying whatever. Why are we seeing Chemical or GC? <laughs> <laughs> which, which artist you see? Oh, you see Henry? Yeah. If, oh, if okay. he needs to be in it. Okay. All right. I'm just saying, if, Say if, if I had a studio and a producer in one week, I yeah. the music I would come out with would change the world. Okay. Let's keep going in it. Let's keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's the kind of arrogance. Yeah. You wanted to see that's Mr. Me. Ego. <laughs> Mr. Ego talking there. <laughs> so yeah, obviously we've um, mm-hmm. touched on the music. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There's probably a lot more. There is a lot, lot more. We could do a whole episode mm. podcast just talking about music alone mm. um when did you start seeing the transition into different arts so mm. what did you straight out of music obviously mm-hmm. you're still doing music but yeah. what was the first thing that swerved your interest okay so um at the time when i when i um, started going back to church um i started um writing short plays and um we'd put on like these little um shows if you like little concerts remember those shows in church yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so um at the youth services and you know i got compliments like because that's when i started to act because obviously in school i had done a little bit of acting yeah um but i was getting compliments from people like pastor mac and Bell saying that you know you can really act and it kind of lingered in my mind i'm thinking one day maybe if i commit to this fully you know then a few years later um i started my relationship with my who's now my wife um denise um i was in a job that i wasn't really feeling and she said why didn't you just leave there i was thinking about acting anyway she said why didn't you just go and learn to be a better actor go to college go to uni so i'd done that 
you know. Large up, large up. Yeah. Support. You need that support. <laughs> yeah, yeah 100%. Does. 100%, you know. So she supported me from then, man. Since then, I've, I've had accolades, you know. Um, done quite well, man. I got an award in 2021 for um, Best Actor in a short film I played the lead in at the White Day International Film Festival. You know, obviously, bit of turn as well um, with you guys in it. Oh, people still yeah. to this day. Yeah. Every couple of years, yeah. that, that resurfaced. Yeah. This is crazy. This, this is Every crazy. Yeah. What you're seeing today, yeah. right now, guys, is the mm. leading cast. Yeah, leading mm. cast of mm. one of the greatest 100%. films that have ever come out of this city. Well, it, bitter turn. Yeah, no, 100%. not no greatest. You know. Big man, the greatest out of the city, though. Out of the city, by a city that's made by people from the city. I don't know. There's, 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 there's oh, actually, right, to be right, fair, yeah, you're no, involved in a yeah, lot of top the, three, yeah, top three the uni projects. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the film project. I guess we're. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But origination street, street. <laughs> that's come from yeah, the street. Yeah, 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 yeah. With no budget, the streets yeah, are yeah, a hundred percent. And yeah. I believe that we were the first in, from Gloucester to, to get in the Guild on the big screen and to get on BBC Point West. You know, yeah, from yeah, from yeah, making yeah. a film in the city. So that's something we could always hold. You know, yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, no, yeah. that is that is. So, um, where yeah. did the, where did the transition then go from? Like doing little playwriting to say, you know what, mm. I'm going to write a film mm. Mm -mm. or. What did that process look like? Because I remember being around the process. It seemed stressful. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the biggest stress like? was getting funding. Because it took about two and a half years. We was waiting. No, I'd say it took about a year and a half. Yeah. It took about a year and a half to get the funding. Then about two years for the film to really come out. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, around about the time. So yeah, it's, it's mainly, even today, it's, it's, it's still hard to get funding. So unless you're doing stuff for free... You know, which is still good because there's content online that you can create to show people your ability. You know what I mean? So it's always good to do that. Um, but yeah, so the transition came from writing plays. So later on in life, I just decided to commit fully to it. You know, yeah. so that's why I went, I joined um, the first, it was a performing arts course at college. And then later on, it was a uni drama course I graduated from in 2021. So yeah, since then I got an agent. And uh, now do it professionally, you know, so Ooh, audition. Nice, and nice, so. nice. That's what yeah. I like to hear, man. I'm taking it serious. Yeah. Went to college, went to uni, did your yeah. undergrad, got your agent. Yeah. I'm doing it all the right ways, man. Yeah. That's, that's solid, that's solid. Yeah, man. So in, in terms of, um, let's talk about your your, your artistry as, an, as a um, as a script writer, mm -hmm. um, as a somewhat music, a movie producer mm. um, and an actor. Like what's, what's your greatest joy out of all of them so far? Um, it's just the whole process of having an idea in my head and seeing it finished and finalised and then put out to get people's opinion. Yeah, yeah, You know, that's that's so satisfying for me. It's like, you know, I enjoy creating. Like, more writing than producing music, I think. And obviously yeah. the poetry as well. That's I mean, because rap is poetry, isn't it? Rhythm and yeah, poetry. Yeah. So it stemmed from putting words together from then. You know, I'm just finding the process of writing poetry without the music. is. Yeah. It's uh, it's therapeutic. I love yeah, it. Yeah, that's dope. dope. We, we'll get mm. to the, we'll get to the poetry soon. We'll mm. get to the poetry. Yeah, we're, just, we're trying to you know we're trying to just <laughs> we're trying to do a timeline. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. A timeline. A Slow timeline. Yeah, Slow yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. We we'll get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When when did the writing mm. or so you said you writ plays in church? But mm. when did you start trying to take it serious? Kind of what year was that? So it was twenty fifteen. You know what? The first the first thing that made me want to write my own stuff was doing my short film with Dean, um, The Invisible. Um, Cause I saw when we, that was the first thing I had online, and it's like oh, okay. see, seeing people's reactions. That it was like, yeah, we need to see a sequel. So I'm thinking, yeah, we did talk about it a couple of times. But I thought, you know what, I could write as well. So I'm going to start writing my own web stuff. And I put out Don't Mirror My Past in 2015, um, and then yeah, so that was the first. That was a four part uh, series, mini series, um, and then it was Bit of Turn the film. What so. was the one I was in? The original one. Bit of time. No, where we bust oh. through the door. Oh, yeah, the um, short film. What oh. was that? That was pretty early, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure oh. it was my team. Was that my team? Was that your team? We both, yeah, you had that concept. And yeah, we... Oh, right, someone that. got run oh, over. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. sister, my daughter. No, my sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. I don't remember what it's called. We were, we were ballied up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember the solid, name of it. You bust through the door. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you were my sister. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Classic as well. I don't know where that is now, you know. Uh, is it on YouTube still? Nah, no, it's not. Dude, that was that was my first that was my first case. That's what made me want to put you in the role for a bit of turn, the lead role. You know, it's like strong that. performance. No, it's strong performance. I don't strong know. Performance. Performance. Strong Natural, performance. man. Trust Listen, me. I had a, I had a bally on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still. The aggression was there. Yeah, no, no. It wasn't even the a bally. Yeah. It was a tense. Oh, it's a, it's a pair of tense. Um, <laughs> a tight tights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
hilarious. No, nah, yeah. good that times. Was yeah, that's good yeah. times. That's what I was thinking. So I was thinking, what's that chord again? Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I, I could find that. I wish I could find that. It, I seen it somewhere. Who filmed it? It wasn't. Yeah, I think we filmed it off ourselves. Did we? Off the camera? Your yeah, camera? Yeah, yeah, Your camera? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. There's all of this yeah. talk about what's going on now, mm. but there is. Mm. And you know there's what things is? behind the you know scenes. And there's, there's, there's resilience mm. when you've got no money, no yeah. budget, mm. but you've still got a passion to make yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. You said that we've done that with your music, you've done that mm. with, um, with your films, mm. and we're going to go talk about some other stuff as well. So that's just incredible. Mm. In terms of seeing pas- people that has passion and they're still doing it, even if the money's not there just yet. Yeah, you know I mean? of course, definitely. I think like that's a big inspiration. Uh, so and I it, think it's a must. You can't just be in it for the money because you, you have to have a craft. So I think the more you finesse your craft in the stages where you're not making money, by the time you put it out there, there's people that can invest in you that see what you really got, what 100%. they're working with. And then they're more inclined to invest in you because they see something there. 100%. It can't, it can't, it can't just be about the money. No, it has to be about your passion, your talent, and it's got to be about the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever flows your boat. I mean, I love women. I mean, I love my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the correct. Answer. Yeah, that's the... yeah, I love, love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. <laughs> I see you got a list, big man. Is there anything you wanna? Uh, there's a few questions I might wanna ask. Wild, but I feel like I'm just jumping <laughs> in, but you're wild. Prepared. No, there's a, there's a few questions I wanna ask, but I don't think this is the right time to ask. Oh, okay, so it's like a... quick fire questions at the end. Oh, so we get after we get the history. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. So I wanna talk just a little bit about bitter turn. Okay. Because I'm in it. Yeah. You know, and obviously you guys are in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So what was the, what came with the initial idea? How can you have that idea and to do that kind of film? Mm, why mm, why mm. did you want to write that style of film? Yeah, so obviously around the time there was a, a tragic incident that happened in the city that touched mm. my heart and touched things, obviously. So, um, yeah, we had an idea to write something that was going to uh, communicate a message to, you know, um, the people out there, you know, kind of anti-knife type of flex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so, um, yeah, and that's how that um, festered. And I guess yeah. one, of, one of the yeah. reasons why when it happened, the incident happens, we were thinking, oh, what could we do? Mm. Um what could we do to address the issue? Yeah. Mm, mm. Like, like we felt like everyone, the message out there was, if you can do something, do something. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So whether it's encouraging your child not to carry knives, whether mm. it's talking to a neighbor, seeing, seeing someone in the street, blah, 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 all of those sort of things. We thought as well, not only can we do that, where, where's our talents? Where's our joys? Mm. Where's the things that we have? And what, how can we implement the things that we have to make this happen? Yeah. So, um, we went out there and we had the idea for, um, the idea for bitter turn for a while mm-hmm. or the issue to raise C went and wrote a script mm. um, I don't know if that was the first script you wrote or whatever but no was... that was that was about 12 drafts different, yeah. and we were going back and forth like you giving yeah, but... feedback and me you know putting that into the rewrite so yeah that's still that the process and, and still writing with me so yeah it was amazing and, yeah, to, and to yeah. be fair mm. not only was that inspiration let me just talk a little bit further yeah. it was um well, even when we got it done, we were like, all right, cool. How can we get it done as cheap as, as, as possible? Because we mm. still wanted to help people. We still yeah. wanted to, to make an impact. Mm. Um, and then we were able to get funding from the local authority mm. in regards to, I think it was like a two grand, two three and a half, half, half grand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheap. yeah um, micro budget, really. Yeah. And in terms of yeah. making it happen, you're probably going to ask this question or not. Um, the script was so much bigger mm. than the film. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, we got through the was. script. We, did, we might have got like a two thirds of the way through we yeah, were like yeah. we've only got like one or two days left to film we can't, yeah. we can't push out any further oh, dear, we were against so we were it, copying we? and changing like All right, yeah, this yeah, is the different yeah, ending yeah. this is how it's going to end this and blah 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 mm. and kind of like makeshifted it into a, um, the film that you saw yeah you see, so. it, oh, it was testing times but we manifest we, what, was, we got, what was the process like for you you were, you were one of the uh, cast lead cast members uh, yeah. well obviously I've never acted yeah you, well, from I don't, the short film we did one before. Well, yeah. that was acting. I was like trying to rob someone and hit them with a baseball bat. That's life skills. That's, that's, that's life, life skills. Yeah, that's that's life life skills. Do you do that in your real life day to day? We're not saying that. We're not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying it's life skills. <laughs> but um, yeah, obviously, yeah. obviously, what was most difficult for me yeah. was because I'm dyslexic. Mm. I can't read and take stuff in. Mm. So reading a script. Mm impossible mm. yeah, so pressure. obviously yeah. for me it was more like right we're doing a scene where well, you guys are there right mm. i need to read what i'm gonna say before mm. we do yeah. the scene mm. like it wasn't have you read the script because mm. i had not i wouldn't be able to i couldn't hold mm. in the information mm. from mm. the script mm. so that's why i knew acting is not for me even no, you, if, even if yeah. i could act mm. yeah, which i can't let's not mm. that's at the thing mm. even if i could I wouldn't be able to read scripts and yeah. go and do that. That's not that's not a downfall, you know, because there was a, a great by the name Marlon Brando who in okay. 
towards the later stages of his career, he had trouble remembering the scripts. So we'd have an earpiece in his ear and they'd be whispering the scripts, the oh, lines really? before he said them in films. But then he's already established, like he's yeah. the godfather. Yeah, no, no <laughs> Why then he's the no, godfather? Well, me, yeah, I, I yeah. go there and say, listen people, <laughs> this is what I need. Yeah. These are my requirements okay. for me to go yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, no one's taking those risks yeah. for like a first time actor. <laughs> you know I mean? No, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, the, <laughs> we gave, well, you kind of, you were directing that film anyway, so you gave the freedom mm. to, the, to um, a lot of the a lot of the actors to say, look, mm. this is the line. Mm. Yeah. Get somewhere around there. You understand yeah, yeah. the feel, you mm. know what the direction, like the yeah, emotion yeah, 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 you're trying yeah, yeah. to get to. Just try and get there. Yeah. Rather than dictating the exact same words. Mm. The time. I mean, some words were extremely important in terms of mm. um, continuity and stuff like that. But some words were just like, all right, you know, mm -hmm. be angry mm. at this reason. <laughs> yeah. Go over that in that direction. Yeah, I, yeah. I remember one thing I remember is um, um, part of the film when she comes with the bill. Oh, yeah. You know, and she's yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And I remember you keep saying to me, oh, yeah. How would you feel yeah. if this was you? And mm. I'm like, but that is I wouldn't feel a way. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like, yeah. he was like dig into that emotion, but I'm thinking mm. real mm. life, mm. that's probably how I would react. Mm. Like, mm. I'm not an emotionally charged person. Mm. 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 So I'm not going to be sad. I'm not going to be angry. Mm -hmm. I'm a very yeah. cool. Let yeah. me take him what's being said. Yeah. I'll come with a response. Uh -huh. And I always remember thinking, as an actor, you yeah. need to be able to dig into certain Some parts that I don't even right. have. Oh, okay. like, I don't have that as a reserve. Yeah. Because I could probably do anger. Yeah. <laughs> I could do anger well. Yeah, yeah you do. And I could yeah. probably do yeah. something else. Uh -huh. Emotional, I couldn't do well. Yeah. Okay. Which obviously I've seen you do certain parts and you do that well. Uh, like I think it's 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 more down to technique because like I do obviously being an actor student I was doing a lot of research with Stan Lebowski yeah. and Stella Adler's you know so they teach you techniques through that so yeah. that wasn't natural for me I had to learn it yeah yeah, yeah of course yeah yeah, yeah. so so yeah. let me let me mm. ask um, mm. in terms of your acting what is the one skill that you've learned the most then because you're just talking about um, some skills there what's the most skill that you use to to this day. Mm. I think um, analyzing the given circumstance. Um, so taking a look at the situation of the character and forgetting this about me and trying to get into that character's psyche and looking at that like, human conditions that I can relate to in that script. So through uni, I, I learned to do that. And that's one of the uh, strategies I do now a lot more. So yes, yeah, looking at the character situation and think of times in my life where I've had a similar emotion and try and go off that. You know, so their situation. Yeah. So if they're a single father, mm. you got you got to think about okay, what does that mean for that he's a single father? Mm. Okay, is he able to go to work? Maybe he's a st a stressed out. Mm. Maybe he feels like this. Maybe he feels like that. And you mm. also embody that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and and sometimes I use a substitute. So it could be someone that I know that is in that situation. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I know this person more than I know that character. So I, I use some of them for my influence. You know, because yeah. there's certain gestures that I've done in in better turn that I've seen from my uncle Alfie. Okay. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I used that. In my, I borrowed that because they got this thing called stealing um, in acting where you could steal certain traits from other people in your personal life and use for your character. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, one of the things. Yeah, yeah. So, so a yeah. little bit, if you was giving an advice to an aspiring actor, mm. like he was getting into it now, they may be, I don't know, going into college. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Like from your experience, mm, mm, like mm. what would you say to them? What mm. what advice would you give to them? Okay, so um, I'd say the only way you're going to improve is being consistent. So I'd say get your friends together, get your phone and your smartphone and do your little content that you could post online so people could see what you're doing and always use that as a kind of training mark for you to get better and improve your craft. So when it comes to your auditioning, because you've got experience from practicing constantly through doing these little, you know, um, short films and whatnot, you'll get an acting practice. So it's all about practice. Being physical, you're going to learn to improve more than reading text, you know, so, yeah. yeah actually um, doing a task. That's yeah, one yeah, big yeah, question yeah, yeah. everyone wants to know. Mm. Is Louis dead? <laughs> West Bitter Tone 2 is Louis dead well, I'm with the writers right now people ask me you know yeah yeah so yeah I, I've, had, I've had a couple questions people right? ask me if yeah. Louis dead you know well I got a script ready you know okay it's about three minutes oh. <laughs> <laughs> no this, this is true I have I have written three drafts of a, a sequence um, a sequel sorry rather yeah. that I haven't really I mean, it's been parked. It's not yeah. finished, yeah. you know. But the question is, it could, it could still be, you know. If we want to no, talk no, another it's, it's project, like we shutters, can just, you know, like we, shutters. Yeah, yeah, number yeah, two yeah, of shutters yeah. is meant to be coming out yeah, for like yeah, twenty yeah. years, and they drop little clips and is Big's dead? Is this yeah, person yeah, dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we. But the thing, the shutters of the community. The thing with me <laughs> is that, as, as you know, when I when I put stuff out there that's old and is outdated, and I think I've advanced since then. 
it's like I would dread kind of to compare that to what I'm capable of doing now. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably one of the reasons why, you know, the sequel hasn't come out yet. And and the sequel yeah. would just be for the fans, actually. Yeah, it'd, it'd be for it me. Be. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, it'd be for me. <laughs> Let's talk. Um, so you as an actor, you've yeah. done um, things that are off, off the top of my head. So invent. Invisible, mm. which is where you were as played a homeless man. Mm-hmm. You was uh, Don't Mirror My Past, where you was a father, an ex-con. Yeah. Ex-con, a father, mm. um, trying to get in a relationship with his, bring back a relationship with his son. Yeah. Um, you did a, a bit of turn, you were a drug dealer. Mm. Um, you did something else, which was actually blew my mind. You, mm. Your range as a human being mm-hmm. is incredible. You Thank was you. a woman. <laughs> he, did, he did a series called I Am Amanda. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, okay. The man was putting on wig and dress and everything. All right. Yeah. So talk I, the thing. I, I, talk, I talk the history of that. So um yeah. like I said, I was on a on a uh, a drama course at uni yeah. and they challenged us to come into um session one day as uh someone that is um a role model to us and mine was always my nan. You know, because I lived with my nan from the age of 13 to 18. And um, so that we always, as kids, we always used to put on a wig and imitate nanny. That yeah. was a thing we did, me and my yeah, cousins and my sisters. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so the idea, I thought this would be a great opportunity to bring Amanda to introduce him to my nan at, at uni. So for three hours, I was in character as my nan, come in, you know, wig, dress, borrowed one of my mum's um, dresses and played my nan for three hours. And they loved it. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. So I thought the tutor loved it. She said, we love to invite Amanda back in. So um, I thought, you know what? There's a TV, there's like a web series in this. So I went away and wrote uh, the web series. There's like 17 episodes. Loads of episodes. Wow. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, that's, yeah. No, the yeah, thing, yeah, when you yeah. think about how the background behind it, mm. obviously it brings context. Mm. To what, with everything, mm-hmm. with everything, there's always something yeah. behind it. What's been your most difficult character to play? Oh, with, and it could be from any time. Well, probably yeah. not your early years because obviously yeah. now you've advanced, but I oh, that's to, got the most out of you. I'd have to say the film I won an award for, I'm not bragging, but um, that was a tough... I played the role of a, a, a stroke survivor. And okay. um, so I was undergoing therapy, a speech um, session. It's like a psychological horror. Yeah. That was very challenging. It took a lot of research for me to... Because Capisha, I think, um, I can't remember the name of the condition that he had, but the guy that wrote it, his yeah. dad was a stroke survivor. Okay. So it was one of those passion projects from his behalf. So, yeah, yeah. you know, I had to come correct on that. And the fact that I, I got an award for it, you know, that 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 showed me that I can really, you know, morph myself into any type of character. And the next one I'd done was a film before that, which he saw, which made him want me to be um, the lead in this, in his film, which was, uh, I played a guy with dementia in a film called, uh, T. Um, sorry. Forgetting, I've done quite a few projects, so I'm trying to think of. Uh, I'll say he took, he took that, he took that seat, he took that character real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can, so that character, like, you can't even remember. <laughs> so yeah, the the film was called Candles. I played um a dad who had dementia, and my granddad's got dementia. Um, oh, yeah. So yeah, you know what the thing I said about taking people that you know personally and. Yeah. Barring trait, so that was the thing I'd done mm. in that, and that's what convinced him that I was suitable enough to play the role of this guy for Stroke Survivor. Right. And he actually waited a whole year because at the time he came to me with a script. I was doing a, a theatre production for my uni, and I said I wouldn't be free until around about December when this is over. So he waited till December, put the film off, and then I was able to commit to his project. Right. Is you there know, so. any character mm-hmm. you haven't played you would like to play? Or yeah. a style of acting that you would yeah. like to do that you haven't done? So I've always been, like I said, I did for my nan um, throughout my teens and she was a big fan of The Bill and I've always oh, liked okay. to play the role of a detective. Oh, okay. That's, 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 like that's the like Idris Elba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that's solid. That. So, so, yeah. I reckon, yeah, your mm. ideal character, mm. two ideal characters mm. would be even like a like a superhero villain, like a villain in like a DC universe. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Or like, like a Black Adam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, or like a proper, like, proper homosexual, like, gay. <laughs> Here we go gay again. Off the, gay off the radar. I think those two would be your most biggest ra- ranges. What do you reckon? Which would you well, choose? I don't know about the second one. That's an interesting conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you willing to play a gay man? Yeah. Um, like play- Kiss and. Yeah, yeah. If, the chat was, if the chat was right. Oh, okay. If the chat was right, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. If the chat was right, um, I wouldn't do it like, say, for instance, like you know, I write my own little web series. It wouldn't be, I wouldn't, you know, willing to do that. Okay. No, 
But you do, yeah, you, yeah. but you, you, you like act gay in it for money in it. <laughs> <laughs> it. It would depend. I would have to. I would have to look at the story. I wouldn't just yeah. free willy nilly say you know if this character had a willy nilly in that <laughs> man got his like character straight. No, no. no. Yeah. So, so, no go on, talk. so if the story, if I can see value in the story, yeah. and I, if I could think I could do it justice, yeah. then I consider it. I wouldn't say yes to. You know, because I remember I had a cousin that was acting and got offered that role and he didn't. And his, his career didn't progress, you know. So it's artistry at the end of the day. Uh, I like, well, let's have a mature conversation. Yeah. And let Dean, Dean, Dean stop the foolishness. Listen, mm. so in terms of like characterization, mm. so whether it's because being a black male mm. from who's got Jamaican parents, playing a homosexual mm. or anything in relation to that would may have a negative connotations to how I was brought up, mm -hmm. possibly how you were brought up. Mm. So is, so there's no role that you wouldn't play mm. if the check was right or if if there's actual a story to that character. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd have to connect, not just the money, I'd have to connect mm. to that story. So I wouldn't, I was wrong to say the money, no, because that's, that's that that's some form of prostitution, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's not that. So it would have to be something in a story for me yeah. to it wouldn't. If it's a real yeah. compelling story. Yeah, I'd consider it. Yeah. I'd so consider if, it. if if And these, then that sorry, that would be another discussion with my family as well, because I have to think I'm I'm still, you know, I'm a husband and I'm a stepdad. So, yeah. you know, this is me on betrayal to the world and them, you know, my youngest is fourteen, he's still in school, you know. So you have to take those into consideration. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Because yeah. you'd, yeah. you'd want to do a good job, so you'd probably have to mm. go out there and, you know what I mean, mm. test the waters of... <laughs> oh, no, go to the club. Research, yeah. Go to those kind of clubs. Just well, see. research is required, yeah. Yeah, in yeah, 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 in yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think yeah. there's um, any truth in the demuscularization of black men in Hollywood? You know when they said... Come yeah. with them real questions, brother. Yeah. People, oh, you, yeah. I got it in here, you know. That's why I was not playing today. You yeah. say like there's, yeah, a lot yeah. of, there's a lot of black actors, especially mm. male actors that mm. haven't progressed their career unless they played a gay mm. a, a, a character or played as a woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. I think there's a few Denzel. There's like Will, a few Will that... Will Smith's yeah. first... Movie yeah, Will Smith, Chris right. Rock. Mm. Jamie Foxx was a, was a yeah. woman, portrayed mm -hmm. as a woman. Like all of these things, yeah. Mm. Martin Lawrence. So Murphy. do you think there's anything behind that? Or do you think it's just, like you said, if the money's right, the story is right yeah. and you're able to make that connect you're an actor at the end of the day uh, yeah because i think other, other than that you're you're kind of limiting yourself and you know that's that's kind of that's not what art's about you know you want to test your limits you know what i'm saying you want to really show what you can do and that's how the best of them get awards for it and recognize on the world scale you know so if you're willing to take that on and pull it off you know at the end of the day then that's that's not you that's the character you're playing that's your job yeah you know, I mean, I mean, look job. at Tyler Perry. Yeah. Tyler Perry was Medea for the yeah. longest time yeah, in yeah, theaters yeah, yeah, before yeah. before she was doing movies. And now I look at him; he's like the biggest thing in mm. in, um, in Hollywood in terms of what he's doing, his career, mm. his company, all of that stuff. So yeah, yeah, that's no, interesting. It's true. Mm. That's interesting. True. Mm. Uh, so right, we talked acting. What are your plans or what are your ambitions, aspirations? Mm. Mm. Like where are we going to next? Okay, so I'm I'm doing poetry now. I got a, a book coming out and. You know, the, the potential is there to, you know, tour the road with my book and get out there. So I want to get established for that and eventually get back to my film and commit, you know, to running my own film company and putting all my attention back into film and putting out stories that I want to tell. You know? So that's so yeah, that's kind of that's where you're going. Your, yeah. your dream is to have a film yeah. company. That's a long time. So hi, um, yeah, where are you on to that? What are your steps looking like? Like, what have you done already and what do you need to do? Yeah, so I'm at the moment, I'm just, you know, taking um, auditions that come through my agent, trying to get, you know, increase my portfolio. So, yes, at the moment, that's that's what it is because I can't control, you know. Um, once I put out my best efforts on onto that um, self-tape, I can't control if they say yes or no be on the board. So I'm going at their pace. So the reason why I started writing poetry as well is because that's another outlet for me to still express my art and make some change from, you know, make some, you know, income. So as yeah. of, uh, I don't know when this is coming out, but mm. on August the 2nd, mm. uh, 2023, you did a event in Cheltenham, mm -hmm. uh, The Bottle of Sauce. This Talk has, me through. Yeah. How did that go? It went really well, man. The crowd reception was all positive, man. They loved, they loved it. So that was your, is that your first yeah. poetry? That's my first paid gig. Yeah, my first paid show. Uh, my first, yeah, poetry performance as well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. What's the yeah. What's the difference, like, between rapping and poetry on stage? I think, I think um, in terms of community, it's, it's bigger out there. There's, there's people from different um, races there, you know what I mean? Uh, it's more, it was 
predominantly a white crowd there. Yeah. But on the on the bigger scale, there's lots of levels of poetry. It's a bigger bigger market. So but what's your yeah. approach like? What do you do in different? Terms of writing? Well, do I, well, um, writing or performance? Stepping okay. on the stage, like yeah. obviously hip hop's a mm. lot of moving, a lot of mm, 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 bragging, sure. bolstering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seems to be a bit more expression. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. So I recognize. My style is different to what's out there because of, I've got such, so much of a hip hop background. Mm-hmm. So the art of putting syllables together, multi syllables, I do that a lot on my poetry as well. Okay. But I'm, I'm doing a lot more um, reflection on the human spirit from my poetry. Okay, you know. So and uh, most poets I hear do stuff like so because take alone last night there was some acts that were doing some comedy stuff, some really crude stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I had I still had my content. I was still, you know, speaking stuff that people could relate to, you know, and I'm I'm bringing rhyme in poetry as well. A lot of, you know, people writing verse, um, and it's not always rhyming in poetry, mm-hmm. but I'm coming with that style. It's still you're hearing that. Yeah, word, there. there seems to be a big difference yeah. between spoken word and poetry. Yeah. So like the written poem and the spoken poem or the written word and the spoken word is totally different. Mm. So um, that's something for people to know. Mm. Oh, that's good, it's good. And yeah. you're saying the reception was great. Yeah, wow. they, it was a really good crowd, man. Really good. Yeah, they, so they invited me to come back in February as well, which hopefully my book will be out by then. So I'll have physical copies to push as well on the night. So you haven't even spoke about the book. Oh, well, see, we jumped across the time. <laughs> we, haven't got to the, we haven't got to the time. You asked me yet. what my future goal was, so I had to let you know what's happening now. <laughs> about the poetry yeah. um, and then you moved on to a book so mm. is there a, like a link between writing a script and writing a book or is it completely different it is different um because like when it comes to so the process um i'll talk about process a bit yeah so um first i put together a manuscript of you know a range of about 85 pages was my first manuscript so it has 85 different poems so poems are short so an A4 page is the equivalent of a poem with me. So I'm trying to get everything I want to say in that one page. Okay, yeah. So it's more it's more concise, you know, um, more tightened. Um, so it's a lot different in the scripts because obviously with, with, with each scene you're trying to create, you're trying to evolve the story. Yeah. Where I'm trying to do all that I would in a film in one, one poem. Oh, so your book yeah, yeah. is a book full of poems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay. a poetry book. Yeah, full yeah. of individual poems. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, correct. The theme's called, uh, the title's called I'm a Graduate and Then Some. Yeah. So what inspired yeah. you to do a book full of your poems? So, you know, it's funny because um, it was actually my wife. She, you know, she's she said that I've always got a voice for poetry and um, she's a fan of poetry. So she said, why don't you write a book? Just write a book. So I dabbled and then I think it was on my birthday, my 40th birthday, I actually wrote a poem about being turning 40 and um, from that it evolved. I was writing mm. constantly through the summer. My birthday is August, so I yeah, constantly through the summer. By September, October, I had a, a manuscript ready and I started pitching it out to uh, publishing companies. And yeah, the first one that I approached, they liked it and offered me the publishing contract. Ooh, so, so, yeah, yeah. Big time publishing in oh, there. I know, I yeah. know. How does it feel that someone sitting next to you has got a publisher? Uh, it's glory to God, isn't it? Glory to God. It's achievable for anybody. It's achievable. <laughs> it's, it's, it's for achievable. Of course. <laughs> you know, you know, super. Come on, mate, you can do it. Yeah, <laughs> we've, got, we've got four, five books. Yeah, I mean, no, I rate that hustle, man. It's still, you're putting <laughs> in the same work, time. you know. No, I hear it. No, I hear yeah, it. yeah. No, oh, that's amazing. Mm. Having a, a, a published book, um, mm. not even self-published, but a publisher yeah. mm. publishing your book is incredible. Mm. Um, so, congratulations with that. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Definitely. Yeah. Right. The last thing I kind of want to say is there's something that was said to me and it popped up when I was, when I was, you was going through your journey mm. and it's something that resonated with me. It might not resonate with you because it's negative, mm. but someone once said to me, you spread yourself so thin doing stuff. You're never going to be great. Okay. Because you're always going to be good mm, mm, mm. at producing, rapping, mm, mm. At Mm. doing this doing that editing mm-hmm. podcasts mm-hmm. doing audio they said you're never going to be great because yeah. you never focus on one thing okay I've heard do you feel that. that resonates with you or do you feel you can be great in every avenue oh, yeah. you, yeah, you see, go to yeah because the thing with me is like I go on what I'm I go on the energy so if I'm feeling if I wake up and I feel right today I'm going to do a poem I'm committing the whole day to poetry okay. you know I'm going 100 as, as I would with any other thing I do so yeah. the four things I do writing poems writing scripts making music and acting so if I got a project i'm focusing everything on that one project you know so it's never like i spend one hour here another hour here it's never like oh, okay. that so as long as i'm committing fully i'm and 
remember I'm the person that commits um, to competing with myself. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I could always be great, you know. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there yeah, are yeah, there yeah. are a plethora of um, examples like that yeah. of people who are masters in multiple mm. uh, yeah. multiple areas and spheres, mm. um, and there's also a plethora of um, people who are not in multiple spheres. Mm. So it's depending on which road you want to roll down. If you're mm. rolling down a specific road and you're, you're happy with that, then that's mm. the stance you want to take. Mm-hmm. I think it's the exact same for me. I do a thousand and one <laughs> things. Mm. If I was just to sit down and focus on one thing, mm. brother, I would be a multi-millionaire at least. Mm. No, so and that's, I, my that's, to me, that's why I said it because yeah. I feel the same. I <laughs> yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, if yeah. I just said, yeah. you know what? Yeah. This is what I'm going to do today. Yeah. Like, All right, I'm going to DJ yeah, yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Be, yeah, just yeah. be a DJ and focus on actually yeah, doing the art. Mm, then because mm. i'm a good dj yeah like i could dj i could go places i could do yeah. i'm not great mm. but that's because maybe tomorrow yeah. i might actually produce a song so yeah. i'm not djing tomorrow yeah, 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 or yeah, i might yeah. be here doing a podcast yeah yeah or yeah, yeah. next week i might be making a music video or yeah the week, so yeah yeah that's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. that's kind of how i feel so that's kind of what i totally feel is limiting yeah, yeah. me totally good but i enjoy doing everything and yeah. like you said every day i wake up and i feel different yeah, yeah so yeah. i wake up some days and i think yeah. you know what let yeah. me write something today. Do you, do you know what it is? Because, yeah. and I think we, um, maybe we share the same uh, ideas in this regards. Because mm. you're a creative at heart, mm. then as long as you're doing creative things, mm-hmm. that's what drives your passion. Or dri- that's what drives me. Yeah, so yeah, whenever, yeah, yeah. To other people, it's like, oh, Dean, you were, you were focusing on writing a script. Oh, Dean, you were, doing, you were writing a book. Oh, Dean, you were doing yeah, this, yeah. you were doing that, you were doing that. Yeah. All of it comes from the same place for me. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. all creativity. Yeah, same, exactly the I same have to me. be creative. Of course. So whether it's, Pretending to be an actor, whether it's, do you know what I mean, trying to be, trying to write lyrics or do music, whatever it is that I'm trying to do, yeah, it all comes from the exact same place where other people may say, no, that's something different. Um, yeah. To me, it's like, it's all the same. Yeah, it's all yeah, creative. It's yeah all of course, different 100%. Different, so. I agree. And I've, it's really down to mindset, you know, um, having a thorough belief that you, you've been given these gifts, you know, so why, why, you know, sit on one gift when you, if you got four, like, you know, express those four. Yeah, you know, I, I, I remember having a dream when I was uh, 13, my granddad passed. And I can remember I dreamt him coming into my sleep um, as, as a physical person. And he said to me, if you look after your nan, you'll be blessed. And it resonates now when I think I'm, I'm multi-talented. So these blessings are coming from that one prophecy my granddad made from when I was 13 years old. Yeah. You know, so I believe I'm anointed to do these four things. You know, so I, I never restrict myself, you know. And the thing yeah, is, if yeah, you yeah, can, yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, of course. That's of what course. it says. If you can, yeah, do. Yeah. And, there's, and there's another thing yeah. I would say for you is, yeah. um, how, or you can respond how you respond is, um, mm. how do you feel it's been in terms of people that have been watching you, mm. um, doing the rapping, the film, now poetry. Yeah. How's, how's the support been? Have you had yeah. the same people that were music fans of yours be fans mm. of all these other things that you're doing? How, how have you? So. Found it? With the poetry, it's, it's definitely open, you know, it's opened me up to a new audience. You know, I've got people that didn't know that I'd made music and acts, you know. So it's, it's introduced me to um, new audiences. And the fact that, you know, if they get my social media and follow what I'm doing, they see that I'm putting out not just poetry, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they're discovering from that, yeah. you know. But I have had family members that say, you know, we're watching you from um, afar, but we still see it. it's like, hard to keep up. You're always putting stuff out there. <laughs> but it's just the way I work. I'm a, you know, I'm driven. I'm driven, man. Yeah. I got a plan. I got a strategy, and that's yeah. to be consistent. You know, yeah. right? That's the next thing I want to yeah. talk about: yeah. mindset. Mm. Come on. So obviously, you faced uh, drawbacks. You faced advers- adversity, mm. and you've had the struggles. What has kept you just going? The passion. The passion has just pushed you all the way through. Yeah, and the fact that I refuse to take no for an answer. Well, yeah, that's good. Good. You know, I'm always trying to get better. I'm, on, I'm trying to reach the level where... I, I don't think there's a level you can reach where you can't improve. So I'm just trying to outbetter myself all the time. So if, if, yeah. if I, I'll ask you this as well. Um, mm. What image do you see in your head mm. um, of your success or what drives you to be successful? So you were saying one is that you had a, um, you had a dream that your granddad visited you. Mm-hmm. So that might be a driver for you. Yeah. For some people, they may have a, have a teacher that was horrendous to them at school mm. and that motivated them. The teacher that said that you're, you're never going to make it, you're, you're a loser or this, that, and the other. Mm. That might motivate them. Or Shout a pe- out to Mr. Gilbert. <laughs> Shout out to Gilbert. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, he's IT. IT. Uh, okay. Told me I'll be dead or in prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So that might be someone that traces you. Or it might be the reality that one day you're going to be able to turn back and say, na 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 boo boo to everyone that thought you were a loser. Mm. Do you mm. know what I mean? Or it might be in my eyes, like, as soon as I collect an award, I'm literally going to be like, Mm. swimming in money 
<laughs> a thousand <laughs> escorts, cocaine on the yeah. table. Uh, I just can't wait for that day. But that's totally Montana. Yes. Okay. Yeah, my day. Go on. Okay. So, so my whole, my whole, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A drive. No. Um, my catalyst is okay. to refuse to be a statistic. You know. So I want to set that mark for any black male that's um, been raised in a broken home. You can fulfill dreams. You know. What I mean, if you put the work in, you can fulfill dreams. So I'm trying to be that guy. Yeah. And seeing a lot of people follow after me. You know, come from the same circumstances. That's what drives me. The vision yeah. of seeing so many people come out of broken homes and do the impossible. Yeah. I think there's. Yeah. there's, there's I think we're at the age where a lot of people have either given up hope, mm -hmm. given up their dream, mm. given up the desire, and they're just stuck in a rat race of nine to five, mm -hmm. making sure these bills are paid and mm. I, I get to the pub on the weekend. Mm. Like, that's some people's life. But the thing general. is, yeah. and so, I you, think so you stepping out of that is, is, re is really inspirational in terms mm. of, look, I'm not giving up on my dream. Yeah. I'm just going to keep going until... Perseverance is key. Yeah. But I think yeah. that is the truth, but I also think we're at an age now where like the social acceptance is mm. that we work. Yeah. Like mm. I couldn't go to someone and say, they say, what do you do? I say, I'm a rapper. Mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, and be mm, like, mm, mm, okay, mm. but what do you do? You know, it's like people don't really accept that. Now yeah. me as a big man with kids, mm. and this, mm. like they wouldn't accept that. Yeah. And they would think I'm kind of past that. Yeah. So I think the social norm is, yeah. like you said, is now you get a job and you, know, yeah. you can rap if you want in the yeah, background yeah, yeah, yeah. or you can do this in the background. Yeah. But as you said, you're a professional in what you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which and I think there's not a lot of people mm. in our generation now where mm. that's their job mm. Mm. like they've all got even if you've just got a little part-time job mm. to fund what you want to do mm. Mm. and i think that for me that's always something that's been scary like yeah if i don't work i'm not gonna have money yeah but i want to do music or yeah. i want to do this or i want to do that yeah yeah and i think again it's down to support because remember my wife told me to you know quit work and support will support you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm in a position that I'm privileged. Not many people are in that position. Yeah, you know what I mean? To, to have a wife that believes in you and gives you the creative freedom you need to make what you need to make. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So in between me not working and getting acting jobs, I'm still creating. Yeah. You know, my wife's working full time. My stepsons are working. And uh, so it's, it's a privilege to be in that position. So I, t I make the most of it by committing a hundred percent. So I have to succeed. So like I said, that's, a, that's yeah, another yeah, driving yeah, force, yeah, as you yeah, said, yeah, or that's yeah, another yeah, catalyst. Yeah. Yeah. That you've got people that supported you yeah, and I have put to. everything on you. They got faith in me, so I can't let them down. You know? Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. That's dope. So, Do you so want to get to your list? Okay. You know, we're, out, some, we're out of room. This is the longest some, episode. Okay, okay. I've got okay. some fire questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quick, fast answers, please. Uh-huh. No politically correct answer. Uh -huh. just I'm just giving you honesty, mate. That's what I'm doing. I'm giving you honesty. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Um... Out of 10, mm. bitter turn. Rate out of 10. I'd say seven, six. Six. Ooh. For first attempt, six. Too long. No, 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 too quick answer. <laughs> quick answer. <laughs> uh, your favourite artist in Gloucester? I haven't got any. I just, I love people on the ground. I haven't got any favourite artists in there's Gloucester. There's Grizzle, there's, there's Ryder, there's, uh, give me some names, give me some names. I said Ryder yes. was a guy that I looked Skill. up to. Right, yeah, right. I said Ryder. Yeah. Ryder. Okay, Ryder. Okay, cool. Ryder. cool. Yeah. Um, Who's been your biggest supporter? What, in Gloucester? Yeah. My wife. Shout out to the wife. Yeah. Um, anyone that you want to big up that's helped you in the past? Um, D. Henry. Oh, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> good answer, good answer. And good Danger. Answer. Obviously <laughs> Danger, because my, my man has been helping me from, you know, recording your setup at home and yeah. stuff. Your, your humble guy, gratitude to you, man. You two, foremost, yeah. You two, 100%. <laughs> on the spot yeah yeah yeah, yeah. alright cool um, your favourite yeah. artist give me two um, of all time that's a hard question Naz um, and Gangstar interesting Naz and Gangstar yeah. uh, do you think art should be banned or censored in any way shape or form no okay art's supposed to be expressed okay yeah um, is a porn artist a artist um, yeah, this is a job. It's a profession. Is it an artistry? <laughs> that even, that even, that even, that's not even on his list. That's his own personal one. Cause you got me, damn it. That's his own personal one. Go on, go on. Go on. Uh, it's, it's a follow-up question. It's a follow-up question. Is it an art? I don't know. Because I don't know. You don't know. All right, it's would... entertaining, isn't it? It's adult entertainment. So I suppose, yeah, it is. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Would you play... What sex role... Would you play a sex role in a film, in a movie? 
would I play a sex role? Yeah, a define? role where you were naked, having to have oh no, not, not a real, not, not a real sex scene, but it's a sex yeah. scene, isn't it? Well, it depends. It depends on the the story, the movie. It depends. It all depends on the script. Okay, okay, yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, would you cut your dreadlocks off for a, for a scene, for a film? No. You wouldn't? No, no. A Rasta for life, yeah? I'm not a Rasta, it's just... Okay, okay. This, is, this is your look. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Um, so you've got a book coming out very soon, mm-hmm. hopefully uh, beginning of 2024. Yes. You've got a second book finished. Yeah, so I got uh, my manuscript. I've actually shopped out there too. I, I got an offer from a different publishing company. It didn't really appeal to me as much as a contract I've signed currently with my first book, so I declined that one. Gonna hold on to it for a bit longer and see okay. how my first book does. Awesome! I'm yeah. excited to see where you go in terms of your acting, see in terms of your script writing, Thank in terms you. of your poetry, in terms of musically everything that you're doing. So I want to see where that goes. Thank well. you, man. I thought I haven't really got much more to add than that. It's been good. I've been catching up. Yeah, man, it's been great. I've been you on it's the pod, great. man. Like yeah. we said, it's yeah. not gonna finally be we got in his seat, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I know. That like, not even that. To be, you are yeah. what? Yeah. Fourth guest. Okay. Oh yeah, because yeah, 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 we don't have a true, maybe true. four, maybe yeah. four or fifth. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. obviously we did the well, yeah, you weren't even there. Yeah, fifth, yeah. I did oh, the one okay. with like we brought we brought the man them in. Yeah. Eyes okay. come in and done one, yeah, because you was whatever you was doing, mm. clinic and them thing there. Mm. It happens, <laughs> so um, yeah, so it's not like we've gone through no, everyone. yeah, nah, yeah, 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 because I'm old school. But yeah, Instagram, if you put Craig, aka Crawl, aka Crawl, you see me on Instagram and Twitter. Not Twitter, sorry, I don't use Twitter. I've got an account, but don't use it as much. Oh, okay. I'm on um, TikTok, yeah, yeah. Uh, Craig Lewis underscore 65, I think. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh-huh. Um, ladies, he's married. Yeah. Okay, his <laughs> wife has access to the to the Instagram and, and the Twitter. <laughs> so don't send that stupid, all right? Strictly about his business, all right? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Cool, cool. <laughs> people we are the broken generation and that was craig lewis in conversation that rhymes <laughs> carry it on it rhymes with the times of the lines that you find in your mind when it's creation time ah and you already know <laughs> it's not a nine to five but we're always on our grind uh-huh. yeah he's on his grind because you heard him about spinning Something's going on in his head, but I'm winning. Every time, so I'm grinning. <laughs> in it for the long inning. Jeez. You keep it going, bro. What are you gonna... Bad man. Always bring the thing in. <laughs> Me no play. <laughs> and I don't like raps that they singing. Jeez. <laughs> People with all the broken yeah, yeah, generation. Yeah. Let's end it there. Let's end it there. <laughs> and what I like that. Please. Yo, yo, last name Henry on Instagram, Broken Generations. We're doing our thing. ITZ Danger. Craig Lewis. And we gone, people. Mm-hmm.